Now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention suggests that women take 400 milligrams of folic acid every day. So folic acid, why is that important? I remember buying my prenatal vitamins mm -hmm. and I was just looking for whatever said folic acid. Yeah. Why? So we've been using folic acid for more than centuries. Mm -hmm. um, we know that 400 micrograms of folic acid daily are good to prevent uh, basically what we call neural tube defects neural and tube anencephaly, defects. which is when the babies are born without a brain. Um, we don't know the exact mechanism of it, but we know that it works, which is why we recommend every pregnant woman to take four micrograms daily with their vitamins. That's included in all the prenatals. Now, if you have history of a previous pregnancy with a problem like this, like spina bifida and encephaly, uh, holoprosencephaly and stuff like that, then you should take four milligrams. Okay, now we have a graphic that shows us other ways women can get their folic acid. Yes. And we talked about the vitamin containing the 400 milligrams of folic acid. Mm -hmm. Now, can you talk about the other two? So the other two basically, uh, cereal has a lot of uh, folic acid and that will mm -hmm. have your 100% value for the day, um, as well as any grains that you mm -hmm. use in your diet. So uh, beans, rice, and a lot of leafy greens are also good for folic okay, acid. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, mm -hmm. so what are some other ways women should change their nutrition patterns when they're thinking about starting a family? I think the most important is what's common sense, right? So right. eat healthy, lots of vegetables. Um, when it comes to... Um, the diet after becoming mm -hmm. pregnant, there is a, a couple of things that we pro uh, prohibit people from doing or eating, uh, but just become healthier uh, overall.